very good morning to all of you welcome to the video number 522 uh, if you're watching youtube.com slash c slash ajay kumar parmar and this is your instructor ajay parmar and i'm gonna talk about today you know the conditional formatting and in this video number 522 we are going to uh, discuss four five very important questions in the conditional formatting if you are preparing for your excel interview if you are if you have applied somewhere and if you have you know the interview in the coming days then please go through this video and have an you know uh, ha have a good amount amount of knowledge on the conditional formatting topic now this is going to be the uh, basic and the in intermediate level video right so we will see some very basic questions and some very intermediate level questions now before i start this video i quickly want to wish my you know uh, new subscribers on this channel uh, very warm welcome to all of you and i also want to tell you that we have got 500 plus videos on excel excel vba access and access vba and this is the playlist this is the sequence of the playlist which you can watch there are almost 48 playlists on this channel and they are all divided into these you know different different playlists so you can see that these are all the categories if you are learning that if you're learning from my youtube then you must follow this sequence right so let's now go and talk about the conditional formatting. Uh, I will upload this video under the playlist called guys, uh, you know, the uh, Excel uh, VBA access interview questions. You can see that, right? And don't forget to watch the rest of the 50 videos, which I have already uploaded on this playlist. Because we just have one name. I, I started this channel two years back and I wanted that, you know, as much as, as I know, that should at least go to my people around the globe and you should definitely be an expert in Excel, Excel VBA, Access and Access VBA, right? So let's talk about today's the first question in front of you. So guys, as you can see, uh, this is the question number one and it says that please color every even row of the table one. This is your table one, basically. I forgot to mention a table one. Now this question I saw uh, in someone's email a uh, long time back and I wanted to cover this, right? So they actually had, uh, uh, you know, given this question in the interview that for every even row, which means that this is two and then this is row number four and this is row number six and then eight, you know, all the even uh, rows should have a color automatically using the conditional formatting. So how we can do that? Well, uh, I'll uh, uh, before I directly write the function, I quickly go and tell you that you see you can use the row function like this. And if you press enter, what happens? The row function returns the row of you know each cell of 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 all the cells basically where you are going to apply this formula. Now we know that for every even row you're going to have the multi multiples of the two, right? Like two and four and six and eight and then 10. These are all the even rows, right? So if we divide all these numbers uh, with two, you know, what, what are you going to get? So if I just say that, you know, you have to divide this by two, then what will happen if you look at the remainder, you know, the remainder is going to be zero guys. So we have a function called mod. What the mod does is that mod, you can give the number which you want to divide and then in the divisor, you write which number you want to, you know, divide it with. So in this case, I want to divide every number with two because two is an even number. And you know, anytime when you divide even number with the two, the remainder is going to come as zero guys. And that is what is the, you know, backbone of this, you know, the catch of this exercise. So this mod function returns the remainder right so the remainder is going to be what you can see that when you divide uh, one with two obviously it's not divisible so you get the remainder as one but when you drag it down for every even row you're going to get the remainder as zero i'm not talking about the quotient here remember mod returns the remainder what is going to be left over after you divide the things so we have the zero 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 and this is the same thing guys we are going to use you know in our this conditional formatting now forget about all these formulas let's go directly and write the function in the conditional formatting so we quickly select the table and we go to the conditional formatting and we say in the new rule uh, we select this use a formula to determine which cells to format so i want to you know uh, color all the cells where with the row of a cell which is going to be you know e1 
it is going to be divided by 2 and if the result is going to give me 0 if the result is going to give me the 0 then this should be colored right so I go to the format and I see that let's say uh, we want to give it a color called uh, maybe let's say yellow color right or maybe let's say the green one so I go and click OK now before you do further press OK guys make sure you remove the dollar from the one like this because you want that when you drag this formula because this formula is going to apply you know over here in all these cells so when you're going to apply the formula in, in these cells you really want that the selection should keep on changing you know e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 right so by default when you select any cell in the uh, you know this formatting uh, this condition formatting tag the dollar signs comes so if you need it good if you do not need it remove it so i have replaced it i have removed it i press ok and let's go and check that you have entered too many arguments for this function okay so what's wrong with this uh let me quickly go and i think i forgot to close this bracket that's my bad because row of even should be closed here and then you have the mod function let me click okay and there we go and as expected guys you can see that here all the row numbers are now colored the even row numbers right so this is the function so what i have done is i just quickly write here so we did this part we said row of your e1 and then close and then divided by 2 if it is equals to 0 exactly this is what i'm talking about this is targeting 0 here i explained this in you know step by step so that you can understand what we are doing and then this row and the mod function i combined it in the condition formatting guys right i hope that makes sense to you right all right so let's go to the next question guys so what is the next question please provide yellow color to unique values and blue to the duplicate values now this is quite simple this can be done in uh, you know numerous ways you can apply the count function as well but instead of doing that you know uh, if you're using 2007 uh, or any higher version i'm using like 2016 you can simply go and select the table and you can go to the home tab and just go to the conditional formatting and here when you click on the new rule you find the option here called uh, find uh, only unique and duplicate values like this so what you can do guys here uh, to to find the duplicate values you know uh, let's say you can choose the duplicate from here if you want to find the unique values that's okay so you can go to the unique uh, because we won't, we need the formula for the unique so i just go and press okay and i press okay i know you, you can see that in this entire table white and blacks are only the items which are not repeated isn't it then again keep your selection there and let's go to the new rule again and this time again i go here format only unique or duplicate values uh, now i want to quickly tell you previously we were using this tab which is a user formula so these are the diff uh, these are all different different tabs guys right so if you want to find the unique and the duplicate you can use this option it's a, a very good option so i say that for the duplicate values i just go and you know format the cells uh, so i want to make it let's say uh, maybe let's say you know any color you can choose though right so I just let's say uh, use this color and I click OK and let's go ahead and do that so you can see that you have got the correct answer now anytime if you just go and you know write something which is unique for example I write Ajay you can see that it's gonna be converted into yellow because it is a unique value but the moment I write that again and I press enter you see that the color is changing so this is working guys right I hope again this question uh, is, is a very basic actually condition formatting but many of you if you uh, do not know this option I'm sure you you are loving it right now right so let's go to the question number three guys now and uh, so in the question number three uh, so in this case we have some dates over here and they say that dates within the next 30 days are highlighted so we want to highlight this table wherever they are coming within the next 30 days so how you can do that i think it's quite easy uh, what we can do is first of all uh, we can put the formula here for the today date because we want to check what is the date today right so we can write like this so i'm recording this video and today is 15th of november 2017 guys so what we can do is uh, we can quickly uh, go and check the difference of this and this right now uh, if you are uh, going to use this dates within the next 30 days are highlighted then i believe that the date which we are going to you know write here that must be greater than the today date so what we can do here i check the difference of the greater minus today date and then you'll see the number right so now what you need to do is you drag the formula first of all and i know this is 
bothering you because this doesn't make any sense to you well uh, you just go and change the format to the number because we have to see the number of days so this is how it is you can definitely go and remove the you know decimals from here so this is what now it says right so what it says so if i look at this uh, particular thing now this is 13th of december exactly almost 30 days of a difference right because today uh, today is uh, your 15th of November so it says that 28 it says 29 and 30 right so let's say I go and write something uh, maybe let's say I just go and write 31st of December you see the difference is now 46 days right so what you can do guys now if the dates are within 30 days so what you can do you can select this entire table you can go to the conditional formatting and now you can say in the new rule now what do you want to do obviously this is a formula right because you have to deal here with the formula right and now the thing is there are two ways of doing it the first way is uh, if you if you want to use directly the formula which i just showed you then you can write here that equals to you can say that uh, this and then remove the dollar sign from the a2 this minus and then you can write today right like this you can write the today function today function is a function guys in excel which inserts the today date so if if i go and open this file tomorrow your today will automatically change to 16th of november you don't have to do anything so we are saying that if the difference uh, in these two days if let's say if it is less than and equals to 30 you know then it should go and highlight the dates so let's say i go and choose this color for example Let's just go press OK and see that if we can highlight and as you can see here, we got this 13 December, 14 December highlighted because the number of days are less than 30, less than or equals to 30, right? But this is not highlighted, right? Now, this is the first approach which you can write in the condition formatting. What else you can do? Well, the another approach is, uh, this is also something you can do. First of all, let me clear the rule from this. Um, so, let's say I just go and remove the entire sheet the conditional formatting now let us go now uh, the another approach is uh, since you have already uh, prepared a formula here so you can also use that formula in you know in this reference so what you can do conditional formatting and new row this is the second method i'm telling you now because you already have got the answer in the b column so you can also use this format only cells that contain so in this particular case uh, let's go and check that if we can do that basically format only cell that contains it applies to the uh, the the you know whenever you want to compare the values directly from the cell and i guess this is also not possible because uh, in this cell in the cell which you have the range which you have selected that has got the dates so instead of that we can do i think this stuff we can see that here again i'm using the same uh, tab which is a formula but the formula will be different this time for you guys so what i say that if this value is going to be less than equals to 30 you know because in this b2 cell you have already evaluated the the difference between the you know today date and the next 30 days so you can quickly go to the format and you can see that if i want to color this let's say i use this color so remember what i'm saying remove the dollar if you don't remove the dollar from here every cell will be compared this cell this cell and you know down down the line all the cells will be compared with one cell which is b2 so i'm saying that if the b2 is going to be less than equals to 30 then please color it and then when so since the conditional formatting is applied in the entire table so naturally obviously you know it's going to pick up uh, for this cell it's going to pick up b3 and for this cell it's going to pick up b4 right so i just go and press ok and let's go wow beautiful right so there are two ways right you can do this or you can directly use the formula in the conditional formatting well uh, make sure that when you send if you send this file to somebody you just go and hide this because you don't want to show this you know what is happening in the background right so that's a kind of a uh, thing you can do here and uh, let's go to the last question guys now what is the last question now they say that hide the entire cell if the x is written in the cell f1 right now in this particular case what we want to do is so if i just go and write here x you know what i want to do is these rows should automatically go and disappear like a magic right so this is uh, this is this i should not be able to see that now how are you going to do that right now obviously there is no magic i mean we are not going to do any magic over here but <laughs> excel is you know um, it, it's not less than magic right it's a superb thing and uh, with, with the help of your scales with the help of your formulas you can do sort of you know i mean I think everything you can do in Excel, right? So you can fully automate the things and you can, whatever you can think, uh, uh, you know, you're working on any project, you're working the, in the complex project, any complex type of, you know, super complex, uh, uh, even the project, you, you think of making something in the Excel, trust me guys, 99% of the times, you know, it can be done. If not using the advanced Excel, definitely using the Excel VPN, right? 
So what we can do is I can simply say that why can't we say this thing that uh, you know so I simply say that you select the entire table you go to the conditional formatting and you simply go and say new rule right now obviously this is a formula because we have to apply the formula so I say that use a formula now I say that if this well if, if this cell is going to be equals to x isn't it right now make sure you keep uh, I mean there's no need to remove the dollar from here because you are not going to drag this right because you should be with the F1 always so make sure you should you, you keep the dollar over here because right now I do not want this to change to F2, F3, F4 and so on because we want to fix this because basis the F1 value you are going to cover the uh, row number 2, row number 3, row number 4 so that's what I'm going to say that go and form it now you must be wondering that how I can actually make this you know kind of invisible isn't it well that's very simple guys uh, you, you, know, you already know that the cell background is white which is by default you know the color of the cell well let's just go and change that the font color to white like that so just go and select the white color from here so what happens if the text is also white and the background is also white you will not see anything I guess so let's go and check that so let me just press ok and there we go so you see that I have done the magic and the magic is in front of you right so this is how you can do and by the way if I just delete that can we see that oh wow this is great so let's have a round of applause guys for this wonderful thing right I showed you magic today so if I again press X and this is going to be invisible so guys that's it for now I hope you have enjoyed this uh, tutorial this video on the condition form thing wish you best of luck for your excel interview and yes don't forget to watch all these 522 amazing videos on my channel and if you like the video don't forget to click on the like as well i'll see you in my next video till then take care and have a fantastic day bye bye